Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 158 in the series of basic math. Today we'll solve a problem on the topic of ratios and proportions. Ratios and proportions are 18th video in the series of 20. The problem for today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that we have four people, P, Q, R and S. Four people are working. They work on a project together. They work on the project together. We are told that they put in, they put in the total hours in the ratio of 4 to 5 to 6 to 10. 4 to 5 to 6 to 10. They are further told that one person worked 60 hours. One of these four people, we do not know who, but one of these four people has worked, we are told, total of 60 hours. The question simply is, if that's true, and based on these ratios that they worked in, which of the following, which of the following could not, could not be the total number of hours worked by these four people together. And these are the answer choices, 375, 300, 275, 250 and 150. What I want you to do now is to pause the video, solve the problem yourself, once you have done it, once you have solved it yourself, then resume the video, compare the work that you, that you do to, uh, by yourself with the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Now, in the event, in the event that you have some trouble with this problem, that you struggle with a little bit, then it is a good idea to watch the video, the lesson that we had day before yesterday, day number 156. Watch, watch the day 156. It will help you. Okay, do it yourself. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. I'll get out of your way. All right, here's what's going on. We are told, I'm going to erase the names now, we don't need the names. We are told that they work in the ratio of 4, 4, 4 to 5, 4 to 5 to 6 to 10. The total parts, once we add them up, we get 4 plus 6 is 10 and 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 5 is 25. 25 are the total parts. Let's see what we can do with that information. And we know that one person, one person we are told has to work 60 hours. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to go, I'm going to go at a little bit of a faster pace. If you have trouble following me, as I said, watch day number 156, it will help you. Do you understand? But I'm not going to go as slow as what you did on the day before yesterday, which took us 12 minutes to do it. We're going to go a little bit faster. So here are the four people's. Four answer to, uh, here are the answer choices rather, we're going to begin with A. A says 375. A is 375. 375, we know that total parts is 25. If you divide 300, if you divide 375 by 25, 400 divided by 25 would be exactly 16 because each 100 has four parts. So 400 will have 16 parts. 370 is 15 parts which means 370 with 70 375 represents 25, which is the total parts, times 15, times 15. And here are the people, A, B, C, and D. And they work in the ratio of... They work in the ratio of 4 to 5 to 6 to 10. Given the fact, given the fact that we just found out that each part is worth 25, uh, each part is worth 15 hours, if the total number of hours they work, all four of them work, if the total number of hours worked by these four people, people happens to be 375 hours, then in that case, each part, each hour is worth, e each part is worth 15 hours. We are told that one person worked 60 hours. One person, one person worked 60 hours. One person works 60 hours. Well, 15 is what we each part is worth. 15 times 4. There you go, you see? 4 times 15. 4 times 15 gives us 60. 4 times 15 gives us 60, which means if the total number of hours worked by these four people happens to be 375, then in that case, it is A who works 60 hours. It is possible. It is possible for them to have worked 375 hours. Let's go to 300. 
plus it twice B is 300. 300 as we know is simply 25 times 12. 25 times 12. Well if each part is worth 12 hours then it must have been B because B worked 5 parts. B worked 5 parts 5 times 12 is 60. In other words, if it turns out that the total number of hours worked by, the, worked by these four people is exactly 300, then in that scenario it is, uh, it is, it is, it is person B. Why, I don't know why I'm calling them ABC, ABCD. We christened them PQRS, didn't we? PQRS. So in that case, it's person Q who worked 60 hours. Let's move on to 275. 275 is just 25 less than that, so if this is 25 times 12, then this must be 11. 25 times 11 and you can clearly see now you can clearly see now we have a problem each part is worth 11 hours person P worked 4 parts which means P has worked 44 hours Q has worked 55 hours this guy has worked 66 hours and last guy has worked 110 hours as you can clearly see in this scenario in this scenario no one no one in this scenario no one has worked 60 hours no one has worked 60 hours. It is not possible. It is not possible for these four people to have worked a total of 275 hours given the fact that they work, given the fact that they work in the ratio of 4 to 5 to 6 to 10 and the fact that one person must work 60 hours. Answer is C. Let's move on to D. Let's finish it up. D is 250. 250 is simply 25 times 10, 25 times 10, and six, for one person to have worked 60 hours, it is R, it is R, 6 times 10 would be 60. Answer choice E says, answer choice E says, 150, 150 is simply 25 times 6, 25 times 6, and 6 times 10 in this scenario. For this scenario to hold, for the total number of hours to be 150, it is, it is, it is person S. It is person S who has worked 10 parts, and each part is worth 6 hours. Each part is worth 6 hours. And he worked 10 parts. So in this scenario, if the total number of hours turns out to be 150, then it must have been person S who has worked 60 hours. But answer choice T, does not work out. Nobody has worked 60 hours here because each part is worth 11 and 11, is, 11 divided by 60 is not going to work out. 60, 60 divided by 11 is not going to give you a whole number that we're looking for. That was it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.